So in this video, I will talk about a few things and I've been watching and seeing uh, the, the, the recent Express Entry draws and I've noticed something that they are giving preference to a lot of people that are in certain occupations. I've seen a lot of, you know, um, uh, draws in the agricultural sector. I've seen some people that are in the trade sector, in the health sector, in the French, and then let's say in the general category. Now, that is obviously much higher these days, right? The general express entry is just, just being the pool. And if they do a draw and maybe 500, 500 or something, you know, this is really high. When you get picked, you apply. Now, they also do what is called category-based draw, okay? For this category-based draw, they can pick a certain category and then the scores are usually lower in this in this area. So what I would do, I'll look at some of these categories today and look at some of the job, some of the job titles that uh, that they reckon that they uh, give nomination to in this area. Now, even though you're just planning to apply for admission, you haven't applied for admission, this video is also for you because it's an opportunity for you to also learn what are some of the courses that I should apply for that will give me a much higher opportunity to get or to be nominated uh, by the province or to get um, the express entry uh, provincial uh, express entry nomination and, and, and the whole of the invitation to apply in the express entry. So this is what they say I will be talking about in this video. So I'm going to be covering all uh, different provinces have different ways. So I will suggest read through the provincial was like the Ontario, they have their own PR. You can always just start with Ontario, provincial nomination, Saskatchewan, Alberta, uh, Manitoba, provincial nomination, Newfoundland. Just read through them so that you know exactly what you're going to be looking at for. Okay, so I will share my screen. I will give you a rundown of how the Express Entry has been in, you know, you know, in the last couple of months and, you know, and see which works for you. If you just go on Google and type in Express Entry Draw, it is going to take you to this website, which is the um, Canada Immigration website that deals with all the Express Entry and everything. Yes, so you go, you come here, you will see uh, the different people, the number of people that are in different batches, okay? You can see here that people that have uh, 450 above, they are up to 60,000. People that have, you know, um, between 401 and 450, they are like 50,000 people. Okay. Between 351 and 400, about 55,000 people. Altogether, there are about 211,000 people in the express entry pool. So you can see why it's, it's a little bit tough to get this is because there are a lot of people and for those that are that have 600 and above they are mostly those that have um, you know either provincial nomination they are mostly those that fall into the category and for now for the general draw there's a lot of people that they are focusing on now let's go to previous round of areas i just want to show you guys something now if you scroll all the way down you discover see on the 16th of February, they did a draw for those that are in agriculture related occupation. What was the score? 435. They only issued 250 because there are not a lot of people in this area. 14th of February, Valentine's Day, they did, you know, good draw for those that are in the healthcare occupation. They score 422. Then they did a general draw. Now, the general draw is now becoming much more higher because check general draw here is 535 this is usually what a lot of people will fall under if you don't belong to any of the category and let's go back general again 541 general 540 if you want to know how difficult it is to get this 500 and something point just go to crs calculator you can simulate and put a few things by yourself to tell you what the score is what the score is going to be is very very difficult to score more than you know uh, getting like 460, 470 in the express entry provide is tough. Crossing 500, even more difficult, okay? The general, and you can see now, a Greek, only 386. Transport, 435. Trade, 435. 
uh, steam, 481 French, 470 in general. This is crazy, 561. So you now ask yourself, if you want to apply for even a program, um, can I get a course that will make me to be able to fit into any of these different categories, okay? Um, let's say, uh, so I've already to, I, I will explain the agriculture, there's STEM, there is healthcare, and, and all of this. So if I just uh, click on this agriculture, you know, this 285 draw, to see the, the you, you will see more information about, you know, um, you see more information about the draw. If you scroll down, they did very few draws report that are in, that are butchers, you know, either that are doing it retail or wholesale, you know. Um, you know, if you are doing this in your home country and you have a, it's considered skilled and you are in the express entry, you will be surprised that you're getting an invitation to apply by just being a butcher in your home country. Any agricultural, you know, service, right? If you are working as a farm supervisor, you know, if you even have your own farm or if you have a friend that owns a farm and that friend employs you, you're not a farm supervisor, you can actually package that into, you know, and then it, because because that is a skilled job, right? And then you can do that and then be the express entry pool and then hope it works. And then contractors, landscaping, grant maintenance, horticultural services, like all you think about programs you want to apply for under agriculture, ask yourself to become a full supervisor, what are some of the programs that I can apply for that will help me to be able to become a supervisor or agricultural service contractors and landscape and grant and horticultural services? So we can think about that. Then if I go back and look at those under agri under the healthcare, okay, this particular one. So if I click on this, I don't want to see which particular category did they give draw to people in this health area. So if I scroll all the way down, I can see uh, those that are specialists in clinical and laboratory medicine, especially in surgery. Like I said, difficult for international students to get all of these ones. Then it's optometry. Now, if you in your home country, that's one of the things I wanted to emphasize. Even though you haven't studied in Canada, if you are working in these areas in your home country, you have an opportunity. And at the Express Entry Profile, you have an opportunity to be invited under this low score category, right? You're working as a chiropractor, you know, and if you go to just click on this, if you're working as physiotherapist, kinesiologist, you know, nurses, supervisor, registered nurses, right? Uh, if you are a physician assistant, you know, licensed practical nurse, you know, uh, so you see that if you work as a nurse, you know, in your home country and you worked in there for like one year, you can actually do your West evaluation and then be in the express entry pool and see what is going to happen, right? Uh, medical laboratory technology, sonographer, massage therapist, nurse aides, you know, patient service uh, associate and all that. And if you go for the CA pharmacy, technician associate pharmacy, educational counselors, right? So either you apply in your from your home country or you can also look at this and just see what are some of the problems I can apply in this area, okay? Uh, let's go to another one. Uh, we have looked at the healthcare under the general category. They just don't tell you a lot of things, you know, if you, if you scroll down, you don't really see a lot of things, right? They just see those that are ranked the most, okay? That, that's just about it. But if you go now to those that are, if you're actually a French speaker, this will actually have a lot of advantage because now if you see the French category really low and they invited 7,000 people, 7,000 people. I always score 365. So if you ask, if you speak French and you're very proficient in French and you have a job, and then I'm telling you, you can get, you can come to Canada as on that express entry, you know, as, as quick as possible. They don't, if I scroll all the way down, they still don't, you know, give a lot of information about that. But French speaker, proficient in English, in, in French, you're written in English. This is this is amazing. Okay, this is amazing, right? This is something to, to think about. And then if you I'm think I'm probably too way up or down, I mean, all right? 
then agriculture talked about that transport. Okay, yeah, four hundred and thirty five. So let's see what they have under the transport. Okay? Uh under the transport area, they do have you scroll all the way down, you see managers in transportation, right? So if you're working in the transportation company and you are a manager, yeah, you can actually maybe maybe logistics might be included, something like that. You know, uh, aircraft, maintainer, inspector, pilot, flight engineers, critical desk officers. You know, if you're working there, when they watch a transport, you know, um, engineer officers, and water transport, you know, transport truck drivers, you know, aircraft assembly, marine truck regulator. So you cannot ask yourself, you know, if I want to apply for anything, is there anything I can apply that I can do a course like this that I will be able to work? You know, in an area like this in the future. So uh, that's going to be your research to do. I'm not going to be doing that. You do that. There is one more I wanted to look at. That's probably going to be the trades. Yes. They haven't do done a draw in the long time, I think, since August. That's the thing with Express Center, right? They haven't done a draw since August for the trade occupation. But, you know, at least it's better, right? They're not having anything. The score was 388. If I had this, I think it's one of the best opportunities so far, right? So if I scroll all the way down under the trade, I want to see which category of people did they give a uh, draw to, right? Under the trades category, contractors and supervisors, yeah, uh, construction trade, the last repairers, services, different areas. Well, that's related machine operators. You know, you might think all oh, no, of this is an important, but that is that they are giving invitation to apply to welders. Welders. Do you hear that? Welders. Electricians. Electrician. If you are an electrician in your home country and you probably you maybe have a degree, you know, bachelor's, higher national diploma, do your evaluation. Then the express in the express entry. Maybe you work as an electrician for a company that's very important. If possible. Where you can get all the employment later and all that in plumbers. Can you imagine that plumbers? So if you do, you do plumbing technician in Canada, so it means that you have an opportunity carpentry. Like I said, no, a lot of things that people want to go into. This one, industrial mechanics, a big one. Industrial mechanics, okay? Uh, heating, refrigeration, air conditioning mechanics. So if you are good at air conditioning mechanics, what do you do? You brush up yourself. You know, reference the video there, which is, and then saying the pool, basically, filters, retention, commission, installers, and elevation, elevator constructor. So you can think about this and say, wow, I can apply for courses in this area because they have much more lower score in the express entry. So that has got to be it. Yeah, now, I, there, I just spent a long time, the express entry has been going on probably 2015 or something like that. So it's been a long time. A lot of things changed, okay? As I see, let me show you something. As of 2017, you know, you look at the score, 430, 435, you know, um, 436, you know, because people were not really having a lot of interest that time, 415, 415, 441, 447. Yeah, I know my friend that had it, I think they had like 440 something, and they got it, okay? Uh, you know, it, it used to be pretty low until we got really, really, really high because the demand actually increased. So if you just scroll the way down, it seems to be 400 and something, right? 400 and something, 400 and something, 400 and something, 400 and something. Uh, in 2021, that's where the thing just kind of went all over the roof, you know, and the COVID hit and during COVID, they were really mostly just doing it the shadow of the show, most part, they did thin entire 500 or something, and it says it really got in high. Now it's a 500 or something. So I hope it can go down so that our group can do whatever application that they want to do. So that's going to be for this video. If you want to talk to me one on one, there's going to be a link in the description. Just reach out to me, and I will be glad to help you if you're scared to any question that you all have. Now, put in the comment section, okay? Uh, what particular route are you thinking of, you know, um, that you think you meet most of the requirement, okay? Just put it in the comment section. Let's see other people that are interested and then we can build a community. I also try to respond to as many questions as much as possible. But just put everything in the comment section and 
I'll see you in the next video. Check out the link in the description on the reach out to me on one mentorship. And if you haven't liked this video, do it to like this video. I'll be glad to see that there's a lot of piles of likes on this video and comments. And if you haven't subscribed, do it to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.